New Zealand's rocket labs will reuse a rocket for the first time. So what's the process then to be able to reuse a rocket and then make sure it is safe to go again? Yeah, look, th this has been what SpaceX is doing and why they've plummeted the cost of um, launching into space. They reuse their rockets. That means you're not building it every time and saving money. Now, SpaceX does this by using thrusters, saving a little bit of fuel on board and thrusters to steer it and guide it back down to Earth. New Zealand has actually been catching this. They've deployed a system of either retrieving it from the ocean as it lands or even now testing a system where a helicopter mid-air catches the booster with a parachute attached. Now, once it lands, there are obviously, as you said, there's a number of checks to make sure um, there was no um, damage to the rocket himself, no systems that were failed. But the sheer fact is, even if there's a little bit of repair necessary or time in the checks, it is much cheaper to reuse the same wing with a little bit of maintenance than a completely new one, right? Just as if we have cars, the ongoing maintenance of a car, yes, it costs a little bit, but much cheaper than buying a new car every time, for instance. And this is another remarkable step in what the industry is doing. They have found a way of making their rockets reusable and seeing their first rocket reused means that eventually they too can bring even further the cost of their launch services down. Uh, and that's the name of the game space. The cheaper it is to get it, the more activity we will actually see and then the more benefit from operations um, based on those systems that are now operating in space we'll see here on Earth.